I knew I wanted to be an oncologist from a young age. I've always liked nature. I've always enjoyed being outside. As part of the OTS course, we get to travel all around Costa Rica and experience the amazing diversity throughout the country. The diversity of life here at La Selva is almost overwhelming, really. and You almost feel like you're walking around in a zoo. The goal of the OTS course is to develop us as scientists. So at each site, we work with a faculty mentor and we develop a project within two to three days and present the results at the end of those days. My favorite part about tropical forests is that there's always so much going on uh, in terms of interactions between species. I'm a chemical ecologist. I've been working down here at La Selva studying interactions between bats and plants. Piper has at least 1,500 different species in this one genus. And here at La Selva, we have at least 55 species. The fruits of Piper are grouped in these clumps all along a little spike. And there are thousands of tiny individual fruits all up and down the spike, almost like a little corn on the cob. And the bat eats the fruit like this, moves it right through its mouth. Bats are really good seed dispersers. They eat a lot of fruits and they carry them really long distances. Often they poop in flight, which is great for the plant because the seeds are scattered far and wide. More recently, researchers have realized that there's a second step that can be really important in seed dispersal. This second group of animals uh, is dominated by ants. When Susan was describing the process, it reminded me of a relay race. And if you think of the seed as the relay baton, the bat swoops down, grabs the seed, carries it a distance, eats most of the seeds, drops some into the waiting hand of the ants, and the ants keep going. Step one was to get bat poop, and to do that, we had to use mist nets and go out at night and catch bats, which is awesome. Almost immediately, there were bats. We caught about 20 bats the night we went out. We took a little vial and scooped up the poop, any poop we saw in the bag, and saved it. In order to test whether the ants had a preference between seeds that had been pooped out of bats and seeds that still had fruit on them, we had to put them in the same place and let the ants have access to both at the same time. So what we did is we put equal amounts of both types of seeds in a petri dish and put the petri dish at the edge of the forest to see whether the ants would preferentially eat seeds that were in poop or in the fruit. We actually had to go collect the fresh fruit from the piper trees. In order to do this, you shake the tree really hard and the fruits that are ripe actually drop off the tree. And so you can just pick them up really easily. The first day we tried to do an experiment, it was literally a washout. We didn't have any data we could use, and we were all really bummed about that. We worked so hard on this project all day, catching bats, collecting fruit, so we were really disappointed, but Susan encouraged us, and the next day we went out with a different plan, and it worked. We found a window where there wasn't any rain, and we were able to run our experiment successfully. Turns out ants do move seeds and they prefer the seeds that are in fruit versus seeds that are in the poop. No matter how much you plan your field season, when you come out here and you start collecting data, things always change. You always learn something even when an experiment fails. The research at La Selva has been awesome, but I have to say the best part is being in this new environment with lots of new friends. So we've been having a lot of fun, we've been learning a lot from each other, both personally and um, scientifically. I feel like we're all really growing as researchers and scientists. We're learning techniques that I think will help us in the future and we're forming friendships that I think will last a lifetime.